Hey guys, today I'm going to teach you how to make a really cool winter scene. We're going to be using a couple of different techniques. We'll be using something called wet on wet and oil pastel resist. We'll also be using a couple of different art supplies, oil pastel and watercolor. All right, let's get started. So what you'll first need is a piece of white paper and some oil pastels. And I am going to start with greens, maybe some brown oil pastels, maybe even some red. We'll see if I get to using it. When you are making your art, it doesn't matter if your paper is formatted horizontally or vertically. You're the artist, it's up to you. I'm gonna do mine horizontally. The first thing I'm going to think about is, before I start drawing, is where I want my tree branch to be. So sometimes I like to imagine that maybe it's coming up this way like my hand, maybe there's two tree branches coming toward each other, maybe there's one coming down and hanging low. It's up to you. I think I'll start here. And I'm just drawing kind of like a line that's not straight. And I'm thinking how might a tree branch look? And line is what I'm using, which means I'm using one of the elements of art. And one thing I have noticed about oil pastels is they break really easily. So if that happens to you, it doesn't matter. You just keep on going. Now you know that tree branches are usually thicker at the bottom. So what I'm going to do here is just make my tree branch a little bit thicker and add some color to fill it in. All right, my next step is to add a little bit of the pine needles to the tree. So now I'm using something called texture. Texture is showing the way that something feels. So I'm doing short little lines and I'm thinking kind of like what the evergreen trees look like outside of my house. Thinking about the Christmas tree I recently put up because it's an evergreen tree. And you can even use a variety of colors because I think the variety makes things a little bit more interesting. Not always the same. There's a nice evergreen, bluish green color. And I'm just filling in every branch some of my friends, they colored theirs in completely. Some kids were like me, they used a short line. It's up to you, you are the artist. So, so far we've used three elements of art. We've used line, texture, and color. If you want to, you could even pick out a different color. I'm going to use red and maybe add some circles for berries. Give my birds who are gonna come into the picture a little something to nibble on. I could even use some white to make snowflakes, which are kind of hard to see, but you'll see them a little bit better once you start painting. I could use another oil pastel, maybe if there's wind blowing. It is a pine tree after all, so if I wanted to add some acorns, when I make an acorn, I think a lot about the texture put a little polka dot and I have a bunch of short lines that kind of come away from that dot. That's how I make acorns. You might see an acorn outside and think of a totally different way that you want to make it. When you feel like your picture is filled in and you're happy with the way that you place things, your composition is what that's called, now we're going to do a little bit of wet on wet. So I've got a nice big paintbrush and I'm just going to paint my entire paper with water just wetting the whole thing. So my paper will start to probably fold up or warp a little bit. That's okay. That's what it's going to do when it gets wet. And now that the paper's all nice and wet, I'm going to use some wet watercolor paint. That's why it's called wet on wet. I'm using wet paint on wet paper. So I've got my cold colors of watercolor paint. And this is an example of how you don't have to have the best looking brand new art supplies to make the most beautiful artwork. And I'm just getting all of my paint nice and wet. And I picked up a smaller brush and I filled it with purple. I just twirled around. My paintbrush ballerina is doing a twirl dance. And now gently, I'm just going to tap the back of my brush. And I can see that my paint is starting to spread out, which looks really cool, like a little bit of a snowflake. I think I'll get some turquoise because that's my favorite color. And maybe add some of that over here. And where I see that the water isn't moving, that means it's wet on dry. I didn't get any water there, but I don't mind that because that makes a little bit of variety, something different in my picture. When you feel like you've added enough 
uh, sprinkles in your picture, enough splatter painting that you're happy with the way that it looks, then you're finished. It's up to you to know when you're finished. If you feel like you've done your best and you've added enough, if you're not sure, you can always ask a friend because friends, true friends, will be really honest with you. And they might say, you know what, Miss Stevens, you could probably use a couple more sprinkles over here. Or maybe it's a little bit plain over there. All right, now once that's done, I think it's good to go on the drying rack and I can start on the cardinals that are going to live in this picture. <laughs>